All right, so we made our way here last night. Lots of four-wheel driving, lots of bloody back and forth on tracks. The Troopy, she's sitting pretty over there. That's where we actually slept last night on top of this epic cliff. So we've just woken up, we've smashed the coffee, and um, we're gonna find a way to get down there somehow and hopefully get a couple of fish, start a fire, cook a feed. Who knows where today's gonna take us, but the swell is a lot bigger than I anticipated. So big swells, big cliffs. We've got to find a way down there. Just jump down here, Mac 10. That's so sketchy. <laughs> sketchy, eh? I don't know how we're gonna get down there, but we'll find a way. Up there looks incredible. This is actually really epic. There's about 10 to 15 dolphins. I don't know if you guys can see this. Fully surfing that wave. Yeah, that little fella just jumped out just there. That's sick. What a beautiful part of the coastline. How good is this? There they are right there. Go on boys, big jump. That's killer. We still need to find a way down there somehow. It's not looking good. That's epic. There's a big pot of dolphins down there just having the absolute time of their life right now. So we're walking, probably we've walked about a kilometer so far, trying to get, trying to find a way down this cliff so far. It is not showing us any grace, but there's going to be a little pocket we can climb down, hopefully. We're in a super rugged part of Australia right now. It's rugged, it's remote, there is nothing for... Oh, look at this. We're absolutely in the middle of nowhere, trying to make our way down this cliff. It's a little bit cold, we've got a runny nose, cold fingers. Mac 10's rugged up to the absolute hilt. <laughs> and um, once we find a way down this cliff, I reckon we're going to be rewarded. I've got one fishing rod, one fishing reel, and a handful of very, very bloody good looking fishing lures, which I'm excited to show you guys very soon. So once we get down there, I reckon the fishing should be pretty good. Might be able to start a fire, cook a little bit of a fish up. It's gonna be a good day. Ready? Yeah. I'm still watching the dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> full, full dolphin watcher. So the only place that I reckon is gonna be climbable is this cliff part here. As you can see, that's a massive drop. That's like 20 to 30 meters before it even starts to decline. So that's vertical. All of this is vertical. This little bit here doesn't look too bad. We might have to scale down there. But if you look at this place on a map, that should be a nice sandy bay. So right now it's getting hammered with swell. I don't even know if it's going to be fishable or safe to fish, but we're just going to get down, have a walk along there and just explore. Hopefully we can get a little bit of food, a little bit of breakfast. First off, we've got to get down here. Find a way down this cliff part here first, climb down, and then we're going to be on. Whee! Right on, Mac 10, let's do it. You just gotta like just go really slow and crawl backwards. Hold on, I'll come I'll I'll come back up. Wait. Oh it's so slippery man. Watch out for this black stuff here. That's gonna be slippery. <laughs> wow, that's fresh water coming out of the earth right there. You could probably get a little bit of a mouthful of water if you concentrate yourself sitting on that there. That'll be fresh water. One foot. Uh-huh. I'm literally hanging off this cliff right now. <laughs> All right, this foot's gonna come onto this ledge here. D down more, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit, yep. That's it. Next foot. Yeah. All right, you got about another three meters, so just go slowly. Oh, that's slippery. All right, we've um, 
made it down to the bottom of the cliff right now, so that's where we started. All the way up there, we've made our way down to the bottom and it is a wild, wild ocean out here. That swell is so much bigger than I hoped for. The waves are crashing right up here on the rocks, so it's gonna be really hard. This is a light setup, this is P2 gear. I've only come out here to get a couple of small fish. I'm not chasing dinosaurs, so it's gonna be interesting. Definitely gonna put this sort of gear to the test, but I'm willing to take the challenge. Are you willing to take the challenge? Yeah, up. the climb up will be hectic, especially if we've got fish. Anyway, let's do it. This is it. We've actually made it to the location. The so last night, we found a spot on the map. We drove for hours. We four-wheel drive for hours, and we finally have made it to our destination, which is right here. The swell is a lot bigger than we hoped for. The wind is absolutely perfect. A little bit of cloud cover. I'm sweating bullets right now. It is, um, it's one of the best feelings in the world when you can find somewhere on a map, actually make your way here. There's not a person in sight. It's me and Mac 10. I've got this whole entire cliff to ourselves. So let's um, start piffing a couple of lures out in, that, in, out in that hole there. I've just got to be super, super careful of this swell. But right, let's see if we can get ourselves a little bit of breakfast. All right, so here are those beautiful lures that I was talking about before. So this is the first drop. I'm well, not the first drop, but this is my last sample of the field day lures. These will be dropping on the on online shop soon. Absolutely stoked with them. I've been working on them for about six months, eight months now, trying to get the lure to have the most action in the water, but the angler has to do the least work. So pretty much just a cast and wind, maybe a small twitch lure. These is the last pretty much the last run I'm doing with them. I'm pretty happy with the way they work. Today we're gonna be chucking them out here into this hectic water. Piffing them straight out here into this foamy water. Trying to pick up a tailor or something else that we can do, but obviously the conditions are not in my favor right now. The swell is way bigger than I expected. The waves are coming right up onto this rock. It's black, it's slimy, it's dangerous, but let's keep a keen eye on the ocean. Mac 10's up high on the rocks there, so she's safe. And um, see if we can pull a couple of fish out off here. Like right now would be the perfect time to cast. No waves. Boom, out there. Let's get into it. That was a big fish! Did you see that splash? Oh no, come on you big dog, I know you're there. Fight! Oh, it absolutely destroyed it on the surface. That's a fish. Alright, now we need to get it in. This is the next part. This is absolutely, oh, this is not a bad fish. Here we go, we got a fish. This is about the 10th or 11th cast on the field day lure. Now we need to get it up. Look at the barnacles down here. This is gonna be a challenge. This is not a bad little fish. I'm gonna call it a tailor, but you just never know. Here, this is the dangerous part right now. In the barnacles. Oh no. Come on, get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up. Get him up. Oh no. Oh, come on. Yeah, you big dog. Look at that. That is what we come for. Wow. There we go. I actually just smashed myself in the face. <laughs> Put the GoPro down on a stupid angle, but there we go. On the field day lure, that's probably about the 12th or 11th cast of the morning. Epic. There it is. We've been here for no more than about 15 minutes. That's a lovely little tailor. It's not a monster by the fish around this area, but smash the field day lure. That's probably like the 13th, 12th cast. That's epic. That is gonna go straight in the frying pan. It's a beautiful size eating tailor. Have a look at the teeth on these bad boys without getting me finger cut off. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna show you that right now. But anyway, beautiful fish to start the day. Do the risk, get the reward. 
Oh yeah. Look at that on the pink field day prototype. Loving it. Mwah. There we go, mission complete. All I wanted to do was get one fish for breakfast. We've been here for about 15 minutes flicking lures. We've got the one fish. So he's down here in a pool. So every time I catch a fish, it's always good to bloody respect the fish because it is a beautiful creature. Spike it in the brain straight away, cut its throat, get the blood out of its, um, get the blood meat out of the fish and just let it sit in a pool. Don't leave your fish flapping around on the rocks in pain and agony because they don't deserve that. It's a beautiful creature. Only take what you need and um, wow. His waves are getting bigger. All right, that was incredible. Let's see if we can do that again. Quickly, we've got waves coming out the back, so we don't have much time. Push! Send that lure straight into the danger zone. Come on, big dog. Ah, these waves are too big. Push! 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 Boy! Way settle down, big fella. All right, there we go. So what we're going to do now? That fish is secured down there. Every time these big waves come in, there's a nice fresh stream of water, so that fish is going to stay nice, fresh, it's out of the sun, it's always going to get the fresh water pushed over it. So we're going to go for a big steam that way. We're just going to walk this way, see what we can find. Obviously the fishing has got really hard right now, that swell is coming up, the tide's coming up, and um, it's actually really hard to fish here. It's starting to get a little bit dangerous, so I've packed up all the gear. Let's punch that way and see what we can find. <laughs> That was close. Boy, shit. Look at this. Those rocks are just slipping all over the place. Mac 10 nearly just lost her ankle. What have we got over here? Far oh, out. It's just a rugged coastline. We've been walking for a bit now. What we're trying to do is find a couple of oysters, but yeah, all the oysters are down here. The swell's too big, tide's too high. We will not be defeated. We will eat oysters today. Alright, so what we're doing, we're going to punch back the way we came because what you can see in the background here, it seriously just starts getting super sheer and the oysters, it's impossible to get oysters that way. So we're going to walk the other way, past where we've secured the fish those, pr those crabs are probably having a hell feed on that fish right now, but we're going to keep punching the opposite way. Hopefully we can find a flat rock with oysters and not get washed into the ocean. That's the plan anyway. Oh my god! Mac 10, get your ass here! That is the Mecca rock. Mucky spotted this rock from like way down there we were over there before we've walked all the way along here look at this babe that is oyster heaven so that's what you need to look for these low-lying rocks which have always got a cover of water or a little bit of water during low or high tide which obviously this does and it is loaded with oysters also there's a cheeky little cray pot up there i'm gonna go have a look at first somebody has put a cray pot here Obviously, they've, obviously it's ready to be dropped in the water, obviously swimming it out. So what I'd say, somebody would probably, when it's no swell, would swim that cray pot out, drop it under a ledge, swim back in, climb back up the cliff, come back tomorrow and get the craze out of it. I would be guessing, but there you go. A little bit of a, we've got a rod holder. Awesome. If you guys ever see anything like this in the rocks, make sure you just leave it as you found it, because this is some bloke's bloody cray pot. He's going to have a good feed one day, once this swell buggers off. Alright, right, let's go and pillage this rock. Get a big feed of oysters. Ready? Yeah, how pretty is the rock? <laughs> what? How pretty is the rock? It's so big. Yeah, it's killer. Right, let's get this knife out of retirement. It's been a while, little fella. It's 
go down there. Hundreds of oysters. Have a look at this. That is an oyster party right now. Hundreds of oysters. I've just got to be super careful of these waves coming in over here because I'm going to get absolutely smashed. So take your time. Let's go. Let's eat. You excited for this? Look how many there are. <laughs> So what we're going to do, because the waves are absolutely relentless right now, I'm just going to keep collecting them and I'm chucking them in a little puddle of water over the back and we'll have a big feed. Look at that. Big, beautiful bit of snot. That is a big boy right there. Oop. Ha -hoo! Big dog's got eight. That's killer. Alright, right, after a little bit of time, we've got a couple of things, there's about 10 oysters in there. Whatever you do, if you're out here getting oysters, don't get your oysters mixed up with that there, because that is a big dirty bird <laughs> shit. So, Maki, don't eat that. But here we go. The first beautiful oyster. There you go, young lady. Oh, thank get you. Get that up here. Look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm so good. Doesn't come any fresher than that. Oh man, that's breakfast day. Yep. This is living. Cheers. <laughs> Oyster on a shell for breakfast. Whoa. It's not from Prince restaurant. Probably better. That's so much better than any restaurant you'll ever eat an oyster in. Look at that, as fresh as fresh gets. Wow. Some people love it, some people hate it, but we absolutely bloody love these. And these ones are so buttery, so small. Yeah, they're smooth, eh? I could eat these all day. Oh, good. Oh, let's go cook that fish up. Keen? Oh, you got one more. One. It's yours. Go. That's romantic. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Right, oh, now that we're full of oysters, feeling bloody happy, completely content in life right now, we are going to punch back up the coast here, go collect that fish. Probably going to climb back up the top of the cliff with the fish and we'll cook that fish up for breakfast up the top there because it's just a million dollar view from up there and down here that wind has actually swung around to the west now so a little bit windy but it's all good. We're going to um, grab that fish and do the hike all the way back up there. The very full and happy belly of some of the freshest oysters you can ever get. Alright, we are halfway up the climb. Probably just under halfway. We've got our fish on a stick. Have a look at that, a little bit of brekkie. This is absolutely bloody beautiful. Halfway up this big hill, a little bit of climbing at the top. We're back at the troopy, cook up a feed. Definitely doing a bit of a barista session. And um, tell you what mate, life is bloody good right now. Come on Mac 10, push it. <laughs> it's hard, eh? Woo. All right, now we're actually running up the hill because 
Just over to my back. Just out the back here. There's a massive whale. A little baby whale. They're both, for the mother whale anyway, it's fully breaching out of the water, like jumping. We're trying to get up here as fast as we can to get the drone in the air. <sighs> Tell you what, mate, this is fitness. How you going, good? You must be sweating bullets in that jumper. Hey. Oh, let's go get these whales. Hopefully they stay there. Well, it's good to see the big rig still here. <laughs> All right, there's breakfast, which is absolutely epic. Mac 10 is rushing right now. We need a drone. Because we need to get the drone out because there is some serious whale action going on out here. There was whales over there. We just walked from, you can't even see, we walked from the other side of the back of that peak over there. And as we were walking along the cliff face here, it's just whales breaching, one fully launched out there. So we're gonna get the drone up, we're gonna have a look and obviously bring you guys along, along on the little helicopter ride. So stay tuned for that. And I'm gonna clean up this fish, have a little bit of breakfast. How good. Right on you little seagull, go and show us what these whales look like. Hit it, Captain. Yeah. Ready? See you later, Gator. Righto, while well, Mac 10's down there piloting the seagull, I'm gonna get these boots off. You're probably wondering yourself, what are you wearing boots for, man? Two days ago, I did a solo mission, barefoot mission, and absolutely cut the living daylights out of my feet. So I got boots on, I got healing cuts on my feet. It's gonna feel good to take these off, but I tell you what, I think I might have to start wearing shoes a little bit more often because my feet are full of cuts, blisters. It's not fun. Anyway. Let's roll into this um, drone footage. Ow! Well, I'll tell you what, those whales were not playing the game. Every time we kind of found them with the drone, we flew over the top of them. They'd just go deep every single time. But so I think we've got a few shots maybe, hopefully, but it is beautiful. There are so many whales out here. We just ran out of drone batteries. So what we're doing right now, we're gonna start up a fire. Have a look at this for a bloody kitchen, would ya? So this is our kitchen. We've just made a super quick little fire pit here because we've got the wind coming from the west. So. A little bit of a barrier there. We're gonna chuck the billy straight on top of the flames, start a few, um, sorry, make two coffees. And then once we do that, we're gonna chuck the fish straight on the coals. Million dollar views. Where else would you rather be? 
Mark, Mark, let's get this fire going. Yeah. All right, so here's a little bit of a trick that I used to do back in the day and it works so good. So get yourself a fisherman's friend's packet. And what I have inside these, it fits two of these fire lighters in there absolutely bloody beautifully. So obviously right now it's winter where we are. It's been raining, last night was raining. This morning was icy cold, everything was dewy. So most of these sticks, they're all damp and wet. So what I do, I just keep two of these in my backpack at all times. You never know when they're gonna come in handy and it's the easiest way to start a fire. Just whack it under there, light up that little cube and you're away. And they stay. They don't smell in your bag, it's actually a really good way. Just make sure you don't bloody eat them. No, that'll, that'll taste... That'll taste funky, eh? Literally just like that, you've got fire. Good little hack. Here we go. Breakfast is coming. Have a look at that for a scenery. So before we do anything, before we cook that fish, coffee. You ready for coffee? As always. All right, that's just gonna sit right there in the corner. We're gonna let these coals get down to a nice, beautiful, nice, beautiful bed of coals, and we're gonna bang that fish on. But first off, we've got the billy. We've got a little bit of water in there. We're away. Look at this. How good is this, eh? <laughs> that is what I call barista sessions. Do you want water? A little bit. Yeah. Right, we'll keep the rest of that water in there so we can put the fire out. And now it is time to start cooking this fish up. Now that they've got those coffees sorted, it's time to get the real party started. So this is breakfast or lunch now, but there's that fish we got. All I did was take its head off, take the guts out, scaled it, put three big slices in each side so it cooks quicker, but it's also, it's gonna suck in this beautiful flavor. So it's probably a little bit too much flame there, but what we're gonna do is just sit it on the fire like this. That rock there will keep it all level. And then Mac 10, in a little camp cup here has made olive oil. I don't know, you've just got every every flavor under yeah, the sun in the there, spices, right? Yeah, spices, lemon, pepper, garlic, herbs. So she's just gonna give that a good dousting and then we're just gonna flip it over, flip it over. And um, that is what you call breakfast. Yeah, that looks really good. That's gonna be incredible. Well, here's cheers to another bloody epic adventure. Sorry about last week, I never posted a video. I try to post a video every single Sunday, but it just got too much. So we're trying to build that troopy into the ultimate rig and um, it's taking so much longer than I originally thought, but it is gonna be worth it. It is gonna be the ultimate off-road touring rig once we're done, but- And you guys will love it too, I reckon. Yeah, a lot of people are asking about Give them a, like, a lot of people are asking for a troopy tour and stuff but i'll show you guys around the troopy once she's actually finished off because right now we're actually just literally sleeping on top of bags shoes fishing rods we've got bow and arrows we've got spear guns we're just sleeping on all of the junk in the car right now so not comfortable um, sure. and then the next biggest thing is trying to find wi-fi trying to find internet to upload videos because we love going off grid like this and obviously we have absolutely no reception right now so that's another thing but Troopy videos are coming very soon. A lot of people have been asking for them. And um, I try every week, every Sunday to get a video out. I'm gonna keep myself to this forever. Anyway, thank you for the support, it's been magic. We have about another 10 minutes on this fish. And then, I don't know what we're gonna do, smash the fish, have these coffees, and then we're gonna, probably gonna go on an adventure. Hey, how good. Turn it around. Oh. Look at this more flavors on this side. Look at that though. Have a look at this. Ah. It smells so good. I wish we can transfer the smell. Look at that. That's bloody restaurant style right there. 
Righto, we've got about three minutes left on that fish and it is going to be absolutely bloody tip top. I just had a look down here on the cliff and that tide is sucking back out. So right now would be the time to go and do an oyster graze, I reckon, because right now all of the reef is getting exposed. If you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it, we're pretty bloody high up right now, but all of the, I can actually see oysters from here. When we were down there today, it was actually high tide, so it's draining out now back to low. So maybe we'll go down for a little bit of a dessert graze. Are you keen to climb down one more? <laughs> it's it's actually up. such a mission to go up and down that cliff. Actually, coming up is the mission. Yeah, coming up. Coming up's the mission. I need to do a lot of it. Yeah. That looks incredibly good. Get rid of this bloody thing that I dodged up here. Make a little bit of a bush plate. Oh, that's hot. Righto, Mac 10, you ready for this? So ready. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. It actually didn't even stick much. Have a go at this. That is the whitest meat. This is going to taste good. Look at that, that is cooked to absolute perfection. Swimming around only a couple of hours ago. Look at that. Breakfast turned into lunch. We'll just call it breakfast of champions, eh? Wow. How good is it? The flavors that you made, that little bowl. Oh, that's incredible. Wrap that around your laughing gear. It's hot. <laughs> ah, it's really bloody good. How's that? Oh, wow. It has like the smoky taste. The flavors mm. that you made in it. Yeah. That is incredible. Look at that. That is the whitest, freshest fish. Wow. Yeah. There's another whale. That's incredible. This has got to be by far one of the best ways to cook a fish. When you cook it whole like this, you get minimal wastage. Obviously we've taken its head off, but you can pretty much suck every single bone dry off of the meat and you'd get no wastage. If I was to fill up this fish, we'd probably be struggling to get a meal out of this, but because we've got the whole fish like this, this is easily gonna fill us up. It'll fill me up anyway. I don't know about you, gobbly guts. <laughs> Have a look at how much, look at how much meat you get off one side. Like that's massive. And it's so tasty. How good is it? That flavoring that you made. Mucky's cookbook coming out soon, guys. <laughs> no, but that flavor is good, real good. Have a look at this. That fish did not last long. That's literally, that's all that's left of it. We came in like a bunch of seagulls and we smashed it. So usually what we're going to do... I you... brought you a beer. Oh my goodness. But I have some oh, you've already. already oh, you've already opened it? <laughs> I had some. Thank you, my darling. That's good. All right, so this fire is still putting out a little bit of heat. I'm going to flick that over the, over the edge of the cliff. Birds, crabs, they're going to enjoy that. I went and filled up this billy. With a little bit more water, so just so we can... Oh, you might want to get that beer out of the way, young lady. Just do the right thing. Always put the fire out, even though it's winter. You just don't, bloody... You just don't want to take the risk of putting this beautiful country on fire. So, there we go. Just like that. The fire's safe. We've got full bellies, and that was one hell of a morning. That's what it's all about for us. Just the easy, simple life. The simple life is the good life, hey Mac 10? Yep, absolutely. Right, oh, we're gonna jump back in the troopy, head further north. A new adventure! See what tomorrow <laughs> brings. 
All right, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe because there is a heap of videos coming up. This is only the start of this Australia trip, so once the troop is all set up, we are going to be in deep. But until then, much love. Thank you for watching. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Much love, doggies. <laughs> Ow.